everyone welcome to topic of the day in today's video we are going to discuss about the national automated fingerprint identification system now this is a very new body and recently the union home minister inaugurated the national automated fingerprint identification system that is nafis at the national security strategies conference so let us discuss what is nafis the NAFIS project is a countrywide searchable database of crime and criminal related fingerprints. It was conceptualized and managed by the NCRB, that is the National Crime Records Bureau, at the Central Fingerprint Bureau in New Delhi. If we talk about its evolution, upon the recommendations of National Police Commission in 1986, the Central Fingerprint Bureau first began to automate the fingerprint database by digitizing the existing manual records. Now, the digitization was carried out through India's first automated fingerprint identification system in the year 1992 and which was known as the Fingerprint Analysis and Criminal Tracking System. It was upgraded in the year 2007. If we talk about the features of NAFIS, it is a central information repository. That is, the web-based application functions as a central information repository by consolidating fingerprint data from all states and union territories. It also assigns a unique 10-digit national fingerprint number to each person arrested for a crime. This unique ID will be used for the person's lifetime and different crimes registered under different FIRs will be linked to the same NFN, that is the national fingerprint number. Now, if we talk about the significance, first of all, it is supplementary to the CCTNS, that is the Crime and Criminal Tracking Network and Systems. So by automating the collection of fingerprint data, the NAFIS will provide much needed unique identifier for every arrested person in the CCTNS database. Moreover, it would also help in quick and easy disposal of cases with help of centralized fingerprint database. Earlier, Madhya Pradesh became the first state in the country to identify a deceased person through NAFIS. According to a 2020 report by NCRB, it enables law enforcement agencies to upload, trace and retrieve data from the database in real time on a 24-7 basis. Now a question arises, since when has India relied on fingerprinting as a crime-fighting tool? A system of fingerprinting identification first emerged in colonial India and was used by officials for administrative purposes. Also, William Herschel from the late middle 1800s used fingerprinting to reduce fraud and forgeries related to government pensions and land allotments. Now, let us talk a little bit about fingerprint recognition. Firstly, the uniqueness of every individual's fingerprints was first proposed in Europe by the German anatomist John Mayer in 1788. Now, anatomist is any person or any medical scientist who researches on the structure of living things. The world's first fingerprint bureau was established in Calcutta and after four years it was established in England. Nowadays, fingerprint recognition is a daily part of our lives. For example, we use it in Aadhaar, in gadgets, etc. If we talk about the advantages, first of all, it is secure as fingerprints are much harder to fake. There is also ease of use. For the user, they are simple and easy to use. That is no need of password and are non-transferable. It is also a cost-effective security solution. If we talk about the concerns, first of all, the system failures including technical failures like power outages, errors and environmental factors may lead to challenges. Secondly, there may be exclusions failure in the recognition in older people, manual work persons, handicapped, etc. So this was a little bit about the topic. Now let us take up one practice question. With reference to the fingerprint recognition in India, consider the following statements. First, the NAFIS project is a countrywide searchable database of criminal-related fingerprints. Second, NAFIS was conceptualized and managed by the National Intelligence Grid, that is not grid. Third, the world's first fingerprint bureau was established in Calcutta. Now, which of the given above statements are correct? You can write your answers in the comment section below. So, the correct answer is D, that is only first and third statements are correct. The second statement is wrong. NAFIS was conceptualized and managed by the NCRB, that is the National Crime Records Bureau. Well, with this, we call it a wrap of today's edition of Topic of the Day. I hope you like the video. 
I will see you with some other topic tomorrow till then take care and do stay tuned.